These daily audio broadcast messages ought to be your devotional materials. You ought to begin your day by downloading them and listening to them and turn the messages you hear from it as your own prayer items. Don't keep the audio messages only to yourself by way of evangelism, rebroadcast it to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. By doing that, you are involved in evangelism, you are spreading the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew 15, verse 16, that when you bring forth fruit and your fruit abide, he said you will ask what you desire and he will do it. So spreading the word of God is one secret to answers to prayers. Begin to do it. You will receive answers to prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Moments ago, I was still in prayers when the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Oh my God, let me describe this revelation. You are based abroad, but your family in your home country, they have the impression that you are doing very well financially. <laughs> and so they are making extra unusual demands from you financially. But things are not okay with you. Even with your job, you are under pressures and stress. Aha! That describes your situation. Let me pray for you. Father in heaven, I'm asking you will intervene in this person's situation. Show your mercy. Break and deliver this person from pressure and stress. Open more doors for this person and make this person more comfortable. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. The Lord will help you. You will have testimony to share very soon. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Mm -mm. Hear this one. You used to be a very committed, devoted Christian on campus when you were in school. But since you started your service year, your, your national service year, you have become cold spiritually. Indeed, you are beginning to compromise your faith. Aha! You are the person? Let me pray for you. I arrest and I bind the spirit of spiritual lukewarmness from your life. I rebook it and I cast it to the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. May the Holy Spirit restore you back spiritually and revive you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I will encourage you to take a day to fast, to pray, and to meditate on the word of the Lord. The Lord will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Uh oh this is strange, but what, that's what I heard from the Lord. So let me declare it. You are someone that is really addicted to food in real life. You have unusual appetite for food. Anything, anywhere you see edible thing, you just go ahead and begin to eat. And you are experiencing also that even in your dreams, you dream of eating in your dreams. You eat and you are becoming sickly. Aha, you are the one. You need deliverance. Let me pray for you. I arrest and I bind this spirit operating in your life. I rebook it. I break the grip. I cast it to the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. After listening to today's audio broadcast, give me a chat identifying that you are the person because I want to minister further to you. This is Charles Adebola's ministries. And we are still on the teaching that I've titled 40 Dreams That Are Warnings From God. Again and again I've said it's quite uh, important anytime you have a dream, don't ignore the dream and don't keep compiling the dream until there are so many. Uh -uh. Immediately you wake up from the dream, from the sleep, give me a chart narrating the dream, and by the grace of God, I will attend to you. 
Dreams could be warnings from God for you to take caution, for you to be prayerful, and for you to be watchful. Mm. When you have this kind of dream, that in your dream, animals, you were beaten by animals in your dream. Ah, it's not a good dream. Beaten by animals like cats, like dogs, or reptiles like snakes. <laughs> it's not a good dream. I remember some time ago, somebody called me from outside the country of Nigeria, and he said he had a dream in his dream. He was beaten by a dog in his hand. And as he woke up from that sleep, he became sickly. He started running high temperature. And thereafter, things were not just working fine for him, despite taking medication. Uh, more specifically, he was even based in Germany at that time. I prayed for him. He got delivered. He got healed. There are no distance in the spirit realm. So when someone is beaten by an anima in dream, it's not a good dream. It is a dream that implies that diabolical agents are plotting against you. It is a dream that implies that the spirit of witchcraft, they want to strike at you. Hmm. Use this scripture to pray. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15 and 17. He says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. <laughs> that is awesome. So whoever are gathering together against you to attack you, uh, to have comp uh, to conspire against you, to gang up against you, the Bible says they will fall for your sake. Look at verse 17. He says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Did you hear that? No weapon of attack, no instrument that are meant to bring you affliction, oppression, torment spiritually. No weapon that are directed against your health, against your marital life, against your businesses, your investment, your finances. No weapon at all formed against you shall prosper. <laughs> that is powerful. He says, And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. There are deadly tongues, diabolical, occultic, fetish tongues. There are tongues with magical words, incantation and spell. But the Bible says, Those tongues are condemned in Jesus' mighty name. I'm coming to pray for you. And it's going to be a powerful prayer. Don't miss it. That will be after this announcement. Please do resend to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, you need to register directly with us and the registration is free. It won't cost you anything. When you want to register, just give us a chat and plus two, three, four, not zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God, it's about twelve midnight every day that we send out fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by six a.m., just give us a chat. It is our joy to have it resent to you. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism to bring about the mandate of deliverance healing and teaching of the word of God to the whole world. We do solicit for your voluntary financial support. The other day somebody was overwhelmingly excited by what God is doing in this ministry and the person sent quite a awesome money running into hundreds of thousands. You don't have to begin that way if you are not yet having the capacity to do it. Whatever you can do is being appreciated. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. God made a promise in Malachi 3.10 that when you pay your tithe, he will open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. Begin to pay your tithe to this ministry like we have others that are doing. Have you read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 before? He says, without faith, no man can please the Lord. 
but that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues and the answers are not forthcoming, go an extra mile in seeking God diligently. Back up such prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. Sacrificial seed faith offering is an expression of your faith and desperation before God. God honors faith. God recognizes sacrifices. When you need a bank that is to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. This other line is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four. Let me pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every weapon of evil that are formed against you, they fail in Jesus' mighty name. We send to this audio broadcast to all your contacts. 